NAFA's International Fleet Academy addresses differences like currency exchange rates, kilos versus gallons, and CO2 emission requirements. The International Fleet Academy that NAFA put on is a great forum for people to come to and learn about what's happening globally. To be able to understand the differentiators that are happening in the marketplace, be it in China, Germany, England, Argentina, Brazil, even here in the Americas. I mean, let's face it, I mean, there's so many complexities in being able to manage a fleet here just in the United States and then add to it currency exchange rates, add to it differences in measurements, kilos versus gallons, and performance measures and CO2 emission requirements that are uh, mandated taxation mandations by different uh, countries. It's endless. And so this gives a breath of being able to look at this and try to at least look at it from the standpoint of how do I manage all of these facets that are being brought to bear with regard to managing a fleet globally. Managing a fleet globally is certainly not something that can be taken lighthearted. It's going to take quite a bit of an investment, quite a bit of uh, effectively knowledge. And one of the things I think I found out that's really important in this is that Managers who are managing fleets need not do it over the Skype or, or be able to try to do it with just through emails. They need to be in touch with people. They need to sit there and press the flesh and understand what it is that the, the goals are for that particular region of the country or, or that, that location. Um, I think uh, it's, it's, a, it's a huge plus to be able to have that relationship and being able to understand why they're doing things in their way, the way they're doing, and then be able to integrate your, your global program with the blessing of the local authorities.